Easy and cheap clinging vines. Hey guys, I have a plastic tray, some uh, light green uh, acrylic paint, and some hemp string that I've cut to uh, less than a foot long. So I'm just going to water the green paint down and saturate the uh, string with it so I get that nice green color on the string, right? Okay, now that those have dried up, I'm going to add some watered down white glue uh, to the string. So I'll just put it in this plastic tray here and then just swish it around and get it all over the string. You want to make sure the string is nice and saturated with the white glue. And then just start sprinkling my homemade flock. Uh, if you haven't seen that, make sure you watch my vid. Uh, homemade flock all over the string. Make sure it's nice and covered there. And then we'll let that dry out here on my cutting mat. All right, it's cool. I've done a bunch of those. So sweet. Now I need to do one last thing with these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another uh, helping of the white glue to this uh, watered down white glue because I want to make sure that all these little uh, flocking pieces stay to this string. This will help uh, secure them to the string. So I'm just going to hit it again with the white glue and let it dry and do all the other pieces. Now that those have dried, I'm going to start applying these to my uh, ruins. Here I've got some ruins here. Uh, these are some elvish ruins I'll be doing in a video here recent, or soon actually. So I'm going to bend it up to a nice shape and then I'm going to hit it in certain spots with my hot glue, just little dabs, and just pop it right on the ruin there. And look how good that looks. Really great. Now I'll add another piece here. And you can cut it to length. And I'll just uh, add a few uh, dabs there. Attach it to the other vine. Looking really, really good. Really like the effect of this. Now another little piece here. Just glue it on there. And bam, looking good. So here we go. Here's some uh, elvish ruins that I have. I put the vines on, and I'll have a vid on this later, but uh, let me move Roderick here and give you a closer look. So here's the vines we did in the vid, put on this uh, tower. I think they really look great. A nice, cheap, simple way to add really nice-looking vines uh, to your uh, structures. So very cool. Let's take a look at something else here. Here's another ruined front, and uh, let's get Roderick out of there for scale. Uh, so we got another vine come up the side here, and I just think those really came out good. I'm just really happy with them, and super cheap and easy to do. So there you go. Some vines for your ruins or other buildings. Hey, I hope you find these tips helpful. If you did, give your old DM Scotty a thumbs up, and that'd be a like. Uh, also, uh, check out my forum and Facebook group. A bunch of wonderful people on there. And uh, if you do like these vids, consider tipping. There is a little tip thing on the video. You can click on that and tip directly to your DM Scotty. And if you want to go take it further than that, you can go to uh, Patreon and become a supporter and a member of the family. Uh, I have a uh, monthly magazine called The Crafter's Lair, which you'll have instant access to when you become a supporter. Take care. Have fun gaming. Hey guys, I wanted you to meet a personal friend of mine, my cousin, Viney. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so uh, funny, uh, Roderick, yeah, I busted a vine, uh, listen to that. 